And that's your latest forecast. All right, Dylan, thanks. We're going to stick with weather for just a moment here as we talk about the nonstop rains on the West Coast earlier this week. Unfortunately, unfortunately, those rains just a drop in the bucket for many folks. California is still dealing with its worst drought in 1,200 years. Many people there are being told to conserve water wherever and however they can. The situation, though, is even worse for residents in one particular town who are now living without any water at all. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff has their story. We just didn't realize how much of a blessing a hot shower is. Free hot showers at the church is just one new reality for California families like the Blackburns. It's rough for a lot of people that wouldn't understand. Yeah. Why is it necessary to have such things? Just down the road, wells are drying up. These are donated pumps and tanks. Crews can't hook them to homes fast enough. My name's Yolanda Serrato, and I ran out of water since mid-July. It all started last year when this house ran out of water, then Yolanda's, and then this house. But not all the houses are dry. This house and this house still have water. Their wells are deeper. If they have a deeper well, they still have water. This cube doesn't look like it's a lot of water. It's not. Once a week, the city of Porterville, about an hour south of Fresno, delivers 300 gallons each to these homes. Community leaders estimate as many as 5,000 people may have run out of water in this county alone. When I run out of water on my tank, I have to get a bucket of water from the neighbors to use the toilet. That's the way we're doing the things right now. Yolanda's son is filling the shower bucket. It's a sponge bath every day. Warm up the water in the stove, and I pour it on the orange bucket there. Those pumps keep coming. They can't move. Who's going to buy a house with no water? And it's $12,000 to dig a deeper well. Even harder to explain it to their friends. Come live it. You won't like it. I mean, we have no choice but to live it. Whoever has water here in this neighborhood is at the jackpot. For today, Dave Malkoff in California's Central Valley.